but uh, yeah, love that. Rats in an extension job going on. Let's have a look. Let's get the camera down here. We can already see there's some signs in the, in the manhole, but let's have a look. So that first, in fact, not if we get around here, I can see something already coming along. Look up. <laughs> that was pretty short survey, wasn't it? So you could see that over the top of that. You could see there's a gap over the top. It's actually a gap over the top of that. And that's the downstairs toilet because we've already looked, we've got that one flushed and that comes out of there. Let's keep going though because that's, en that's enough for me, in all honesty, that, that would be enough for rats to get out of. But, uh, you never know what you're going to find. There's a nice crack. Oh, well that could go anywhere. This one up here, look. <laughs> See, this is the, uh, the thing with older houses. We're not certain exactly what was here 100 years ago, 150 years ago. This house has probably been here for about 60 years. There could have been an old farm here. There could have been some terraced houses. And what used to happen was people would just knock the building down. There'd be old toilet pipes and things like that. And they just wouldn't bother capping them. They wouldn't think about what was going to happen in 60 years, 100 years time. And that there, that looks like a, the bottom of a, a toilet pipe that's come down and it doesn't go anywhere now <laughs> so where does it go it goes straight underneath yeah. the foundations underneath the concrete slab and then basically the rats come out go along the, co the concrete slab because they can't get through it and then all of a sudden they find your cavity walls straight up in your loft so this is another one sold by the pest interceptors keep watching and don't forget subscribe 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 and give us a like and a ting on that bell as well down the bottom eh? thank you very much well, let's have a look down this one here then, Mark, because as we can see, we've got loads of uh, mud in the bottom of that pipe, and that's not not what you really want to see. No one really knows where this pipe is going to. This one, this one here, we're going down. So we'll carry on. What I've been noticing, I don't know, can you pick that up on the camera? Where I'm going. All right. So as I've been going down here, you can see on the bottom there's like all this pink stuff and I can't work out what it was. But well, I think we're going to find out in a minute. Oh, now we're going to find out in a minute. Because we've had this film and this is 13 metres away from our customer's house. There's some more of this red stuff look on the bottom. More and more debris and soil. More soil. Where's it gonna go? Ah, here we are. What's all this? And there we go. So this here looks like an old plastic bag that's been pushed into maybe an probably an uncapped uncapped sewer or an old toilet or something like that. And years and years ago some unscrupulous builder instead of getting a bung and putting the bung in properly which is none of those would have done the job nicely that would last forever and a rat's never going to chew through that or they could have cemented it up properly or something and what they've done instead they've got some bags <laughs> some plastic bags and uh, shoved it into the hole now what we're going to do now because that that basically is 13 meters that way and when I've looked over the edge of that fence there is actually a, a manhole there so well that's nothing to do with our customer what's happening is the rats are getting out through there they're coming across the top of that pipe and they're following the pipe all the way underneath that lawn and then somehow they're joining onto these other pipes and those other pipes are going underneath their extension and underneath their extension as soon as the pipe goes underneath the wall That'll be a cavity wall, and hence there's a cavity in it. The rats will look up, because it's pitch black in there, don't forget. And they'll think, oh, what's over here? And then they'll go up inside the cavity wall, and they'll find some nice nesting material up in the loft and places like that. And then before you know it, the family group starts to grow, and they'll start looking further afield for food. And, uh, yeah, and then you get our customers. <laughs> so, 